Hello, I'm Snow White. And I'm Little Red Riding Hood. This is Hansel. And this is Gretel. And you decide which story we're going to play. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy our story. But hang on, you've got to give us a hand finding our way around. And that won't be so easy. If we don't watch out, the story will always have a different ending. Here's a tip for you. Check out the little arrows. They'll show you the way. Hansel and Gretel Once upon a time, there lived a poor woodcutter with his wife and their two children, Hansel and Gretel. Unfortunately, the woodcutter was so poor that he could barely afford the family's daily bread, which meant that they often had to go to bed hungry. things don't change around here. I've got a plan. Tomorrow we take the children out into the forest. This was the wicked mother's cruel plan, to leave Hansel and Gretel all alone in the middle of the big dark forest, so that she wouldn't have to share the food with the children anymore. Hansel, hurry up! Coming! But Hansel and Gretel had overheard their mother's plan and came up with their own. Hansel left a trail of breadcrumbs in the hope of finding their way back home again. Right, this is the way. Their wicked mother led the children deep into the forest. There, they had to lie down and wait for their parents, who were going off collecting wood. Soon, Hansel and Gretel fell asleep. Dusk fell, and no one came back for the children. So we are. Well, there's no need to be frightened. We'll find our way back, no problem. Look, a duck! Come on, I want to go home. But the breadcrumbs which Hansel had left had all disappeared. Thus, the children wandered deeper and deeper into the forest. Finally, they arrived at a crossroads. Isn't it sweet? 
It's been following us. It's obvious. This is the right path. You really think so? After a while, Hansel and Gretel came upon a beautiful field full of flowers. But they couldn't really appreciate them, as this obviously wasn't the right way home either. Hmm. I don't remember this meadow at all. But this must be the right way. Hello, you two. Can I be of assistance at all? What does he want? You stupid poodle. Go on, shove off. Get lost or you've had it. Uh oh, what a sweet little duck. Leave her alone. What kind of way is that a talk to me? You can't fool us. You only want to eat us. Good idea. Let's start straight away. Bye now. The wicked wolf was furious and chased Hansel and Gretel from one end of the forest to the other. Luckily for them, they were quite good runners. And if the wolf hasn't caught them yet, they'll still be running to this day. You can't catch us, you can't catch us. Chase us through the forest forever and ever. Yes? No? No? Great. Thank you very much. Sure. This is the way home. You really think so? After a while, Hansel and Gretel came upon a little house. Maybe someone here could help. Hey, stop it! That tickles! Maybe it's a laundry. Now what? I know. Let's knock and ask the way. Look! At last! Look who's come visiting! Just the people we've been waiting for! What took you so long? At last! The reinforcements have arrived! We've been waiting ages for you! At last, someone had come who could help the dwarves down in a cramped, narrow mine. It's not really our day, is it? Rats. And so, Hansel and Gretel lived not so very happily ever after, slaving away down in the mines of the seven hills for the seven dwarves. Do you really want us to slave away down the dwarves' mine? Yes? No? No? Great. Thank you very much. Sure. This is the way home. You won't think so. After walking for what seemed like ages, suddenly, right in the middle of the forest, the children came upon a little house made entirely of gingerbread and sweets. 
Well, did I do well or what? What a lovely little house. At last we've got something to eat. Stop quacking. Hey! Gotcha! Help! Let go! The old woman was a witch and only had the gingerbread house built to lure poor children to her so she could eat them. Hansel was to be fattened up and eaten, while Gretel was put in charge of housekeeping. for this sauce. Hands off! All mine, all earned with honest toil. <laughs> Just you wait, you old rat pack. <laughs> you old witch, let me out. for this sauce. Mmm, look, my dear. Look what lovely food I've got for you. This'll fatten you up nicely. Every day, the short-sighted witch felt Hansel's finger to see if he was fat enough to eat yet. But instead of his finger, Hansel stuck a twig through the bars of his cage. Why isn't he getting any fatter? So the witch decided she couldn't wait any longer and wanted to eat the children at once. Hey you! Come over here and see if the oven's hot enough yet. On, little girl, get in. You want me to get inside? Yes, yes. Hurry up. Gretel, look out. The old witch is trying to trick you. Oh, Mr. Smart Alex got something to say. Go on, little girl, get in. You want me to get inside? Yes, yes. Hurry up. I won't fit in there. You silly goose. Even I'd fit in there. See? Hey! Look out! Hey, bring that back! The thieving magpie flew with a string of pearls across and out of the forest, right in front of where the hunter was standing. In fright, the magpie dropped the necklace, which landed right at his feet. That necklace, uh, it's ours. Can you give us our necklace back, please? You stole this from the Queen. You're going to be in deep trouble for this. 
And so it was that Hansel and Gretel came to be falsely accused of the theft of the Queen's jewellery. As a punishment, they had to do all the washing up in the castle's kitchen. Oh no, we're never going to be finished. And so they lived fairly happily ever after, up to their elbows in soap suds, making sure the Queen had clean crockery to eat off. Do you really want to suspend the rest of our lives washing up in the castle's kitchen? Yes? No? No? Great! Thank you very much! Obviously we need to take that path. Hmm... Or maybe that one. Oh no, not again! Admit it, we're lost. Of course we aren't. Do you know which way we should go? Got a better idea? Suddenly, Hansel and Gretel found themselves standing in front of a big lake. And on the other side, they could see their house. But how to cross the lake? A bridge or a boat was nowhere to be seen. What a shame we haven't got a boat. Oh, if only we had a boat or something. How do we get to the other side? It's our house! Yes, we just have to get across. How do we get to the other side? Look, it's our house! Yes, we just have to get across. Maybe the duck can get us across. You reckon? Duckling, as there's no bridge far and wide, take us to the other side. Great, come on, we'll be home in a jiffy. But not both of us, we're far too heavy. Come on, Gretel. Oh, come on, we're much too heavy for the poor little duck. You go first, I'll follow. Well, okay. Hansel and Gretel's father was not a happy man. His wicked wife had died in the meantime and, as so often, he was sitting sad and lonely in front of his house. Hansel! Gretel! Daddy! How wonderful it was to have his children back with him again. our friend. Without her help, we'd never have got back home. Promise you'll never leave us again. Never. I promise. <gasps> I'm so happy. If you only knew what happened to us. Oh, you must tell me all about it later on.
Look what we've brought with us. But where did you get all this from? Such a long story. And so Hansel and Gretel and their father live happily ever after. Do you want to go on playing? Yes? No, yes. Do you want to go on playing? Yes? No? No.